Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. We're going to go through my predictions for the IGCSE 0606 additional mathematics course for both papers one and two to make sure you're really prepared for those exams on the 23rd and the 30th of May. So let's go through the topics that I think are going to appear and give you my advice as we go through and make sure you stay until the end of the video because I'm going to show you all my predictions for every single topic that has appeared using my frequency analysis. So first of all, paper one predictions, the modulus function coming in at 62%, so coming up quite often. And usually this is tied into some kind of graph sketching. So notice here, they actually get you to sketch y equals the modulus of 2x plus 5. So be aware, generally they'll test you on this, sometimes with some equation solving as well. Sequences and series also pops in at 62%, again, comes up pretty often on paper one and does sometimes come up on paper two as well. Notice they use this word progression quite a lot. So you need to be looking at whether you're looking at a geometric progression or an arithmetic progression. That's gonna change the kind of formulae you use for this kind of question. On to the binomial theorem, also coming in at 69%. So this is a common question that appears, can appear in lots of different forms. And if you need lots of practice on this kind of question, I'd recommend you check out my A-level video on binomial theorem above, because it's very, very similar. But as you can see, sometimes you can use calculator and sometimes not. So do read the question carefully. On to logarithms, appears much more on paper two than on paper one, but still appears some of the time at 62%. And you can see they'll get you to simplify some logs or even use logs to solve exponential equations, which is an important topic. Also ties into quadratics, which I'll mention later. Vectors at 69% as well, and this comes in a couple of different forms, vector algebra being the most common one, which you see in front of you here, but they could ask it in terms of position vectors and vector equations too. Again, more of a paper two style question. On to combinations and permutations. I'm sure this is a topic you've been dreading if you studied the course, coming in at 69%. And this is one of the toughest topics on the course, and more because they can vary the question so much. So you need to be very, very well aware of the different combinations and permutations of the question that could appear. So make sure you revise this very, very thoroughly. On to radian measure, which is almost certain on the paper one. Again, you can usually recognize this by seeing rad in the question in some way, and you'll be exploiting those formulae for the arc of a sector and the area of a sector using radians. You can tie in a little bit of circle theorems as well, as you can see in this question. So make sure you've done a lot of that pre-maths on the other courses for IGCSE. Quadratics are 100% here, so it is certain to turn up in some way, often combined with other topics on the course, but you can see they can also do a standalone question using completing the square or working in logs and exponents to actually solve some quadratics too. Trig equations, identities, again, a very, very, very common topic on add maths at 108% here, and can, can vary in a variety of different forms. Make sure you know those identities, because for example, this question, knowing sine x over cos x equals tan x, is gonna help you tackle this kind of question. Integration, again, you know calculus is a big, big part of the ADMAS course. And of course, integration at 115% is no surprise. Again, they can do a variety of different forms, a straightforward integration question, or something a little bit different here, where you actually have to work out one of the limits and then kind of work backwards to find the answer. And wherever integration is, differentiation is also around as well. Make sure you know all your differentiation rules, particularly the product rule and the quotient rule. As you can see here, this is a quotient rule style question. So make sure you revise this very, very thoroughly. Also very important for the paper two as well. Okay, and on to the paper two predictions here. And the first topic that we haven't mentioned so far, but is important, it's generally reasonably evenly spread over both papers, but more likely on paper two. And that is the factor and remainder of the theorem. So you have some cubic, usually with some missing coefficients. And by using your knowledge of synthetic division and the factor remainder theorem, you can then work those out. So make sure you revise that thoroughly. 
Optimization, this is what I call optimization here. This links in with differentiation, which I'll mention later in the paper two prediction video here. And what usually happens, you get some kind of 3D shape, and then you need to write the volume or the surface area in terms of one feature of the particular shape, in this case, H. So make sure you revise this. This is really important also if you study IB or A levels later, because this kind of question comes up a ton. Vectors, it was also on paper one, it's also on paper two. This is an example here of where they start using I and J notation and also looking at kinematics. So looking at idea of velocity vectors and position vectors. So make sure you've understood kinematics also in a vectors context as well. Sigma and series, again, has appeared on paper one, also appears on paper two, roughly equally. Again, really read the question carefully. It Does it say the sum of terms? Does it say the specific term you're looking for? Because that's going to change the formula that you use. Logarithms, again, appeared on paper one, appears a lot on paper two. Notice you start getting this notation, LG, so just be familiar with that with the Add Maths course. But they could ask you a ton of different styles of question, but appears, yeah, quite a lot on the paper two. True equations identities was on paper one, it's also on paper two as well. Again, the questions don't vary too much between the two papers, but you can see you've got a little bit of identity work here in order then to solve this quite tricky trig equation down below. And uh, quadratics, of course, now again, can come up in a variety of different forms. I thought I'd show you a different form here where actually you need to solve a quadratic inequality to so make sure you have revised that as kind of on the cusp of the maths course and the add maths course. But make sure you're really confident with quadratics using the discriminant as it comes up a ton. Integration, again, you knew this was coming up, this time at a whopping 154%, so it comes up in a different forms. I thought I'd show you another form here where you're having to work out the area under a curve and between lines. This is very, very common. Notice you might also have to integrate with cosine and sine, so make sure you revise that very carefully. And differentiation, which ends up being 208%. So what that is saying here, on average, it appears twice on every paper too. So if you're starting to revise this particular course, you should start with calculus. You should start with differentiation and integration, and you'll notice you'll pick up some log knowledge and some trig knowledge as we go along. Here's another example question, and sometimes they'll hint to you to actually use differentiation to do this kind of question. So very, very important. I can't stress how important differentiation is, but it fits into so many other topics as well. Okay, and I promised at the end that I would show you this as well. So this is my uh, additional mathematics paper one and paper two summaries here. So you can see how often each topic appears. Really, really useful for your revision. And again, on paper two, you'll find both of these uh, grids actually in the description below. So do check that out. And if you're really, really stuck at this point and not sure where to start and revise with the additional maths course, check out the video right in front of you because this goes through two and a half hours of the key topics you need to know to succeed.